Hey, good afternoon. I'm certified meteorologist Brandon Orr. We still got a high chance of rain today, although it's not 100% because it's not going to be widespread for everyone. We are going to get some spotty showers and a few thunderstorms in the mix too, and that will continue even into early evening. Our model does show this well, how it's not widespread wall of rain moving in. Remember yesterday was a solid line. Today is going to be more spotty pop up. So if we see some flooding, I think it's going to be more pockets of flooding and trouble spots versus anything that's widespread and certainly not the same type of rainfall totals like we had earlier this week. If we see some high rainfall totals, it's going to be on the order of two, three, four inches in certain spots. But we do have that threat for flooding today, at least a level two. Level one is for tomorrow and then down to zero. Finally, as we get towards Father's Day on Sunday, we have that rain chance much lower. A tail of moisture left behind from the storm system that's finally leaving us and moving off the coast of the Carolinas dissipates by Sunday. So that's why we have those lower rain chances and any of the next tropical moisture surges that come up from the Caribbean going to stay out here towards the Western Gulf. This is going to be more of a Texas and Mexico problem with a potential tropical depression developing as we get towards early to the middle part of next week. I am not concerned about it for us here in South Florida, so that's the good news. We'll keep a normal pattern around throughout much of next week. Highs around 90 degrees and just a few showers and thunderstorms each afternoon. We're not looking at a flooding threat or setup going into next week. Updates will be on local10.com. I'll see you there.